<laughs> this is next to Mark A. Shepard. Yeah. That's not for me. That's not for me. That's not for me. Interesting. <laughs> so, what's up? What's it going to be like for Crowley to have both his mother and his son back in the picture? Probably very annoying, the sound of it usually is. It never works out well. It's Gavin's cooking pigeons on light bulbs, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. He's kind of wandering about, isn't he? He's still a man out of time, sort of, I think. Could be interesting. Yeah, where do we pick up with him emotionally? And, and you have to ask Andrew that, because that's, that's a plan that they've, they've had for a little bit. But uh, I think it's, it, it's, it's basically exploring the family dynamic again, and my end of the family dynamic. So I think it's very much a theme this year. Did you want to explore that some more? No, hate them both. <laughs> As, not as people, well, not as much. As people. Yeah. No, but as characters, it's like, it goes and crazy way. Um, how do you feel your character? Go on, story? ask me the question. How do you feel your character's story arc will change this season? This season? I might get what I want. There you go. And I'll be dead again. So that'll be it. It'll be over for me as usual. I feel like if Crowley got what he wanted. always get killed. What? If Crowley got what he wanted, then. And what, like, the show be over? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he needs to always be looking for I kind of got what I wanted for a bit, didn't I? Like, before before Demon Dean. And I got bored with it. So it's not always good if I get what I want. I guess you're right. Nobody's ever really dead on this show, right? Oh, I probably will be. <laughs> I'm when you pushing push... off enough people as it goes. <laughs> I, call, I, called an, I called Andrew up. Well, I actually have a long-running gag with, um, with Bob, both Bob and Jeremy for years that I would call up and the first thing I would say is, so am I dead yet? Jeremy would always say, oh, I'm writing that now. Funny you should ask, I'm writing your death now. So it was an ongoing thing. So now Jeremy's on another show, I'm actually still going to call him up and ask him, am I dead yet? And, uh, yes. Did you spend seasons really thinking that you're going to get killed off? Yeah, I mean, there's a certain amount of redundancy to big bads, you know, in that context. So I don't know, I, I always thought it would be interesting if it was a big sacrificial play. I mean, killing Crowley now doesn't make any sense at all. The first time Bob actually, Bob and right, bringing me show over to you was now. deciding to to kill me off. They actually called me and said, "We're killing you off, but don't worry, you're back in 16." So it was one of those, and there was a reason for it. You know, burning the bones. And we've done all that stuff. He kill me off, it would just be what, what would be the point? And jumping vessels, we've done. We've done Lucifer. Now we're jumping vessels. You heard about Rick Springfield? Yeah. 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 It's going to be exciting. He's really good, him. actually. He's a really cool guy. It's going to be the devil that sings. Um, well, sings. Yeah. Gets out of guitar. Well, he sings a bit. I play drums. So it could be fun. We could start a band. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call it? Holy hell. No. Um, <laughs> the oh shit? No. <laughs> the opposite of oh god. Um, you know, it's fun. It's really fun. But uh, I'm really excited to see where this is going. You know, I'm proud to be part of it. Good to see. I said, as he talked to Peter Roth the other day, and I said, uh, "Wow, twelve seasons." He goes, "Yep, halfway there." <laughs> Can you imagine that if it is actually halfway there? Yeah, I think Max and the rest of our kids would be working on seasons fifteen onwards. <laughs> what would you say. imagine the wrap up party would look like? Yeah. Noisy and messy. <laughs> the two hundredth was noisy and messy, but it was good. We've done a few, but uh, I'm excited. Three hundred would be an amazing goal. Longest running uh, genre series in American history. I think it's incredible. It's an amazing and it's thing still to draw. People still. Yeah. I came on as a guest. Drugs. Drugs. You know, yeah. so what the hell? At the beginning, how far did you see this going for you? For me, yeah. it's a couple of episodes. And you know, I only did it because because uh, Kim would have wanted me to do it. I knew Kim well, and he was and he asked and, and said, uh, I said, it came up, and I was like, Ben wrote it, and I was like, oh, okay, this is perfect. I'm kissing a guy out of the crossroads. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. It might be fun, and then it just became this wonderful recurring thing. And you know, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot to be said for Bob Singer that I've been kept around this long. You know, through the iterations and changes, I think Bob has been very instrumental in, in making sure I'm still there. So one way or another, you might not feel that way by the end of the year, but you never know. But. Uh, I, I'm proud to be part of it. I love the guys. We're still interested in the Winchesters. That's what it's about, right? Because if we're not, we're not watching. As much as we love Crowley and Cass and, and everybody else, if we're not interested in the boys, it's not really a show. You know? It'd be the Crowley show.
Which it really is anyway. But I mean, <laughs> coming back, bring it back to it. So for the record books, you're part of two of the longest running sci-fi shows in Britain and in the US. Well, I'm, part of, I'm part of the longest running sci-fi show of all time and the longest running show in the show in American history. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, what will I do now? <laughs> The I think I'll open series. a chapeau shop. The spin-off spin series is Killing Crowley. No, it's called O Crowley. It's a comedy. <laughs> and the end of every scene is O Crowley. <laughs> you good? Yeah.